you'd think that everything would have been okay, that these kids would be safe behind this security gate, behind that locked door, but that was not the case when these parents were at work and they were home alone. In fact, it was anything but safe. Stuff like this happen all the time in movies and stuff, but you, you never expect that to happen to you. No. But it did happen to the Fernandez family. A knock at the front door turned into two guys breaking in the front door, sending 15-year-old Deanne into her locked bedroom, hiding in the closet. As her brother slept in the next room, the burglars ransacked the parents' room, took some jewelry, and then found what they really wanted, a PlayStation 3. But it was only the box. Right. I'm so scared. Police say one of the robbers went to Deanne's bedroom and kicked in the door. I saw his foot right there. You saw his foot in the closet door? Right through the, the little closet panel. He was standing, like, right here. He found the PlayStation and ran out of the room, but Deanne's brother, Damien, was waiting. So once I saw him take off running back, I jumped off my bed and I grabbed my sword like this, and I just waited for him. And, and when he came... Yeah, I lunch out and I stabbed him with mid chest. Right, right. And then after that, when I went to pull I went to pull again, he freaked out. Like, I saw the look on his face. He's like... The 21-year-old suspect, Javier Cotera, ran out of the house, down the road and behind a neighbor's palm tree, where a police canine took him down. His partner in crime got away. But by 3.25 a.m., the suspect had been released on bond. We went to see his family, who knew nothing about what happened. He was a samurai de, de la pared. Tonight, Damien's dad is just grateful his kids are all right. If he would have had a gun, if he could have, you know, uh, I could have lost one of my children. Well, Javier Cotera is due back in court two weeks from tomorrow. He's facing three felony charges. Meanwhile, Lori, that alleged partner in crime is still on the